Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to the Urban Rider Studio where I have a jacket with me from the company Revit. This features a lot of their flagship features that they reserve for their adventure style items. And it is in a package that is well suited to the everyday commuter as well. It is quite subtle in terms of its look, but it still has all of the great features that you'd expect from one of their higher end items. The Revit Trench 2 Gore-Tex motorcycle jacket comes in at £500 and they're available in either blue, black or olive. I honestly can't think of anything this jacket is missing and it's really versatile. I don't think I've ever come across a jacket that I truly consider to be a four season jacket, but this comes pretty close. It's got a lot of great features to be used on warmer days or colder days. For the majority of our riding season in the UK, obviously it is going to be appropriate. Probably the only thing I would avoid with it are really hot days or just in general the kind of uncomfortable days in the summer. But the rest of the year, including the depths of winter, this would be a great choice. I would definitely consider £500 to be an expensive motorcycle jacket, don't get me wrong, but I think on this occasion that price is justified. It's got a lot of great features across it and bear in mind, I will touch on this now in fact, it's got the Gore-Tex name on there, which I know can split a crowd. And I am on the side of it's not always necessary to have Gore-Tex and I'm not entirely convinced it adds a lot to the overall package, but on this occasion I think it might because it's a laminated membrane, so it is definitely better than the in-house option that Revit have, which I'll expand on in a moment or two. Some housekeeping points to mention. Sizing on this is accurate, it is a sample, but it is a large, the mannequin generally in any of the brand would be fitting in a large, that's what I'd expect, and it fits him really well. In actual fact, I think actually wearing it myself, I'm usually a medium in Revit, and I think that is still true on this occasion. Like I say, I'll double check obviously when we get the uh, full stock in, but actually the large fits me reasonably well, and I think it's because it's got that removable layer on the inside as well, so even on my smaller frame, it still looks okay. It has a double A safety rating, which is always great to see, and it comes with level two armor included in your elbows and your shoulders. It would be nice if they included back armor as well, but there is a pocket so you can get that additionally. There's also some pockets for chest protectors if you want as well. It's got high levels of adjustability. You have some straps around your forearms so you can tighten that in if you need. You've got stuff around your waist there. You've got drawstrings around the waist and it's got uh, things on the inside to attach it to your trousers if you want to. And there are pleats around your shoulders which enable more flexibility when you're reaching for the bars. I always like to see that as well. And my overall take on the fit of this is it's got a decent amount of flexibility even though it has a really hard wearing outer. It's not stiff at all, it's nice and flexible. You've also got a padded section around your neckline to make it more comfortable and a loop on the back, a really big one actually, so you can hang this up really easily. And I prefer having that on the outside, actually. Tiny, tiny point, but it just means when you take up your jacket and you're trying to hang it somewhere, it's a lot easier. The outer fabric is a nylon 600 denier Gore-Tex fabric, and that's where we get onto waterproofing. So it's a laminated waterproof membrane, meaning it is bonded to the outer, it is one piece, meaning also that water will find it harder to stay on the outer fabric so it should beat up and roll off, which will keep you warmer. If you saw a video we put out recently, actually this did feature in how to stay dry in wet weather, and it's been really wet for the last few days, and this is a fantastic option if you are looking. Now you don't often see laminated waterproof membranes. They are harder to produce, therefore the price is higher, but they genuinely are better and more functional. Now they can be stiffer on occasion, they're not stiffer, on this occasion, as I've said, the jacket has a decent amount of flexibility in there. And sometimes there can also be a colder jacket, unless of course, you pad out the inside as you have with this. It has a removable internal thermal liner, which goes the full way down your arms as well. So you won't be cold with this, and you don't have to try and remember to bring a jumper or something thick underneath to pad it out yourself. You are covered. So it's really warm, it's really, really waterproof, and it's just a great jacket to use in the winter if you were looking. On top of that, the pockets on the outside are also rated as being waterproof. They've specifically mentioned that, which if you see on some jackets, if it doesn't say it's got waterproof pockets on it, I wouldn't necessarily just assume that they are because sometimes that isn't the case and you'll find your stuff gets wet. So these are waterproof. They're also magnetized, which I love. So you can close that really easily and just flaps over the top there. Actually quite a subtle design there. You can't really see that it's a pouch pocket. You've got nothing else on your chest on the outside because 
These are actually vents, which I'll mention in a second. You've got a pocket on your sleeve there, also with a waterproof zip to it. And so as to extend its riding season and versatility, you also have vents on the front here, or aqua defense panels, as they call them. So you'll notice, obviously, that these are waterproof zips on the front there, YKK zips as well. And then you'll spot this thing down here that looks a little bit like a nipple, if I'm being honest, but it's a functional nipple because that fastens to the uh, clasp at the top there. And it's actually magnetized. Again, I love magnets on my things. They just make it so much easier to use. And that could be a little bit fiddly, obviously trying to uh, move it up in that position. So it's handy that it's like that. And then really easy to close as well. It is Velcro fastened on the bottom there. And you'll notice rubber around the vent itself to make it watertight to seal it off as well. So you aren't gonna get water in there. Obviously they're also openable from the bottom. So water is gonna run off and down that as opposed to up and into it. So no concerns where that goes as far as waterproofing, but it is really functional. In the summer, take out that thermal liner on the inside and you've got yourself some vents there and you've still got a really usable jacket for the majority of those warmish days. Now on the main zip, it isn't actually a waterproof zip, but it is covered by a flap to the outside. So you'll notice that it just folds over there and you also have this little gutter channel which will stop water from getting behind that. So open that up and you'll notice you've also got storage at your chest there on the outside and then you've got some storage on the inside on the liner on this side and then if you detach the liner itself you've got more pockets again on the inside and some mesh paneling there to make it more breathable, definitely more comfortable. I would honestly struggle to think of a jacket that is more versatile or flexible than this. And I also think it looks good, but let us know what you think of it in the comment section down below. You can find links to this in the description and I will see you soon.